months ago, I published a, a video about a yacht called the Dynamic 165, a 165-foot yacht that's particularly interesting and innovative. Now, since then, Northrop and Johnson have been given the central agency for two of the other Dynamic models, a 130-foot yacht called Jet Setter and a Porsche-designed 115-foot yacht called One of Seven. Tomorrow and the day after, I'll be filming the promotional video for One of Seven, but prior to filming that, I wanted to come here to the Monaco Yacht Club to meet the CEO of the company, Sergei Dobrozov, and to understand a little bit more about the philosophy and the thinking behind this shipyard. Now that is something I thought my viewers would find particularly interesting. The name was created by Martin Redmayne from uh, Super Yacht Group. In the company, uh, we call Martin our godfather. It's a great name. So we were always saying that uh, dynamic is about uh, we supply dynamic yachts uh, for dynamic people, but not just dynamic, but with IQ at the end. It's not just about going fast, it's about intelligent performance. It's the best name which we can find. I strongly believe that uh, already now, and uh, especially in five, ten years' time, if you can't sell anything through internet, uh, your business is dead. You shouldn't even start. So from the very beginning, we decided that uh, Dynamic as a company uh, will be completely open and transparent by the means of the internet. So we decided from the very beginning that our website uh, will be the interface given full information about construction price, construction cost, all possible options, enabling people immediately take a decision and come either to us or to their brokers and uh, as a result to make a deal with us. Each time people are making a configuration, uh, calculating the price, putting the options, that gives us the opportunity, first of all, to understand what are the uh, tastes, uh, what are the preferences. From the other point of view, uh, again, it's a great tool uh, for the pre-contract, uh, as a pre-contract work. Well, and uh, I would say that uh, 5%, 10% of the configurations are coming to us uh, as an inquiry, which is an enormously big percent. Yeah. It's a huge percent. And we start to talk uh, with potential clients. I was a broker for 20 years, well, and I am a broker uh, at the moment, uh, well, inside myself. Uh, that's the options uh, or the customization of the boat. That's the most important thing for each potential buyer, yacht owner, or client. So that's exactly what they want from a boat. And what I found out, working with different shipyards in Northern Europe or in Italy, uh, the system is the same. They're signing a contract and then they have half a year, a bit less, a bit more, to customize their boat. But what happens is that in many cases it becomes, as you say, either too expensive or has incredibly long lead time. So it complicates the whole process. But what we all know, their requests are pretty much the same. They can be systemized, they can be put on the paper in the configurator, and if they think about that in advance, the whole construction process becomes times easier, yeah. cheaper and much more efficient. That's why configurator is the only way, is the only tool to, to start discussing your contract, I suppose. We have the following strategy in mind. To present two boats to the world, to people, and to look at the reaction. So first boat, Jet Setter, was designed as a purely family yacht, charter boat with home fill, and that was the task for designers, especially for Bamberg and Raw Wheel Design. Another boat, which was designed in collaboration with Studio Porsche, was designed as a playboy boat, if you want. It doesn't have a family look, it's very sporty, it's very aggressive, uh, it's very masculine. Having these two ideas in mind... And only three cabins. Yeah, that was uh, the idea about the sport car. So a sport car is not about the number of people you manage to sit and it's about the image, it's about the comfort, because at the end of the day you c it's still 35 meters. Yeah. And in our case, with the plumb bow, it's 40 meters. Yeah. You can divide the space into three, into four, into five, but it's still the same space for the luxury area, right? 
Well, I can say that uh, that's the beauty of uh, starting a completely new business and not being in the industry for ages and having you, your preferred supplies or something. So we have a very clear goal in mind uh, is to propose uh, the most efficient system which client can have today. So we asked several suppliers, uh, we compared the results and then we decided what could be the best possible solution for this particular boat today in 2017, 2018. Every system is designed with the idea of the top efficiency in mind. Yeah, both of boats uh, have port propulsion system, uh, which uh, again, uh, working with naval architects, uh, we found to be the most efficient for this particular type of the boat and for this particular type of hull. Also, it takes uh, much less space in the engine room, meaning that we increase uh, luxury areas. Well, we find a great synergy with uh, Van Ossan and Neville Architects uh, because we're both working in the same direction towards the efficiency of the boats we build and we both have very rational approach. I mean, if we can't prove why it's, uh, why it's better, we basically uh, don't put it on the boat. So, what I like working with Van Ossan is that uh, we're trying to keep a very simple approach to uh, your design process. I mean, in, in short, if you want to have a uh, comfortable, efficient boat, so you need to have long hull, not too wide, yeah. with a low center of gravity. You want to put all the guest cabins to the lower deck because that's the most comfortable place on board the boat. Yeah. And that's the recipe for a great yacht, yeah. as a great ship. Yeah. What, what we see on the market is completely the opposite. We see short boats yeah. with plenty of decks, yeah. with beams. huge beams, yeah. which from the marketing point of view might work and might attract clients, yeah. but in no way uh, these boats are either comfortable or efficient. Yeah. So we decided to create our own niche. Sometimes uh, it's hard to explain to people why we're doing completely that, but so we need just time to prove it, giving people opportunity to spend time on board of our boats because uh, the difference is really, really huge and it's visible, you can feel it. Another idea about it is to use uh, round bilge hull yeah. for the fast displacement boats. Uh, capable of uh, achieving 20 knots and more, yeah. which is again uh, quite a rare thing. But okay, that's uh, how we get uh, the motion comfort. Yeah. And there is n n nothing else to add to that. Well, it's very simple. So you can either choose working with the uh, suppliers who are either closest or the best. If the best supplier is the closest, yeah. then you're choosing the one who is uh, in front of your uh, shed. If you find uh, these people, say, in Sweden, as we discussed in the in case of Humphrey, okay, we're asking them to come. Good thing is that working in this industry for quite a long time, uh, we've got excellent uh, connections and really good reputation uh, with many companies, with many people. So when I asked, uh, say, g, &G uh, Dutch company uh, who's building aluminum hulls, one of the main suppliers for Fatship and for many other reputable North European shipyards, to come to Italy and they build a hull for us. They came like this. It's uh, not a problem at all because we know each other for a lot of time and it's easy to organize. We trust each other. Yeah. So it works really, really smoothly. But uh, if we look at the market and uh, we find out that the, say, one of the best glass suppliers is Isoclima, an Italian brand, we're coming to them. Yeah. Nowadays, it's quite easy with the logistics and uh, you can even have uh, New Year uh, wind losses coming from Australia. It doesn't take long, believe me. So, so that's the logic behind changing supplies. If you want to compete on the international level, if you want to claim you're the best, say you need to work with the best. I see my task uh, 
my primary task is to create the best team. Yeah. It's like in football, it's like in basketball, it's like uh, in every game. Using clientele is changing and the whole world is changing, right? So values are changing. I'm just trying to work for the next generation of clients or a new generation of clients who I think will be capable of buying boats uh, in the next decade. Yeah. So, and that's obviously different type of people who are making their money in uh, financial sector, in the internet, in telecom. It's not, their main description is not that time poor and cash rich, like it's all, all the wealthy people are like that at the moment. I think the whole approach to yacht building process is different. They're more about results rather than the process. I don't expect them to come you know, 10, 20 times during construction to check uh, the process because they are extremely busy uh, with their current businesses. Yeah. What they want to have, they want to have 24-7 access to what's going on with the construction. That's why we're providing the cameras and CCTV to them during the whole construction process. I didn't know that. Yeah. They don't want to talk much to you, uh, coming to uh, having numerous discussions about the specifications or something. They prefer to go to configurator to select uh, the most uh, valuable things for them and just make a decision. I think that's approach of the approach of the next generation. One of the things I really enjoy about this business is meeting founders and CEOs of businesses like this. They have so much conviction and passion in what they're doing. Now, as you know, I'll be filming one of seven in the coming days. So if you enjoy seeing videos like this with interviews of builders and designers, do let me know in the comments section below and I'll make sure I provide more content like that. If you want to make sure that you don't miss out on any of that great video material, you know exactly what to do. Subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell sign at the bottom so that you get notifications of more videos like this.